Hello and welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I put up another video, but I finally made a little bit of time for myself. Today, we're going to be playing Alter Dungeon. And I'll put the description and, uh, and the link. I'll put the link in the description below so that you guys can try it out too if you like it. Um, so, over here... Let's see... Is there anything in settings that I should look at? I guess not. Okay, no settings. Let's just jump right into it and see what it's about. Okay. So it said it was a roguelite. Or a roguelike, I don't remember. Something like that. So I guess we're going to start adventuring and see what the future holds. Let's go. Ah! Oh, I guess I can't run into the, uh, thing. Am I into a boss fight at this point? This is, uh, a little bit rough. is gone. Okay, these blood splatters need to get out of here. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. We just have to be pretty careful. Okay, I guess that's another head gone. What does this one even do? I guess he just sprays up, um... I guess he just sprays up these little pools of acid or spit or blood or whatever it is. Some dangerous thing. Okay, so, uh, uh... Get... Is there an inventory? Oh, oh, oh. So we got a scale and a giant heart, I think is what it said. Huh. Yeah. Heart said upgraded for a second there. Okay. Come on, die already. What's this? Are those arrows? I don't know, maybe. Maybe they're arrows. Interesting. It's very different from like other roguelikes in that uh, you don't just pick up like new items and gear. You, you pick up resources. Maybe there's something that I'll be able to do. Okay, I have 81 money. Do these things cost money? Okay, uh, gloves. Fire a projectile of wind, dealing one enchant damage when using a melee weapon. That seems pretty darn good. It seems pretty good. Uh, deal damage. If we deal damage with melee weapons 250 times, then the enchant damage is even better. Good. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'll go with the, uh, the gloves. Ah. Mouse wheel to uh, switch between weapons and stuff. Good, good. Let's try to go in down. Oh, maybe. I guess that room is the boss room, and I was not supposed to skip to the second level. I got some bat wings. 
Oh, a tab for inventory. All right, cool. It's in the compendium. Tabs of different kinds of enemies. I just have to, I have to actually uh, equip things to get this working. All right. Uh, okay, so we can craft some things. So everybody, this was um, Alter Dungeon. Um, I'm just going to keep playing my uh, gameplay footage while I say a few things about the game. Uh, as I mentioned, it is a roguelike dungeon crawler. And, um, well, it's got a lot of interesting aspects and there's a bit of a learning curve. So I'm here to uh, explain a little bit. Uh, if you see the, the room with the two staircases, well, the left side will face you up against the Iron Minotaur and the right side will face you up against the hydras, like you saw just a moment ago. Um, well, that's the boss room. Don't go in there immediately, like I did, like an idiot. I mean, you can if you enjoyed the challenge, but it's a little bit better to go through all of the rooms, hopefully get some new items to help you on out with the rest of the dungeon. This one is different from some of the other roguelikes I've seen in that you can actually pick up crafting resources and what you find can kind of largely determine what you end up doing for the rest of the game. I mean, if you feel like you want to uh, play a ranged build, but you just don't find the right resources to make enough arrows, then you might be stuck uh, swinging your old wooden sword around. Oh no, I just jumped right into the slime. What an idiot. <laughs> well... Um, it wasn't immediately clear to me at first as well, but um, you have to set certain items to your hotbar, and then you can use the mouse wheel to uh, switch between different items. So you immediately start with a sword and a bow, and some arrows, of course. But yeah, and then it is tab to open up your inventory. I was searching around for that a little bit when I first started. That's a little bit disappointing. Looks like there's a thing over here to pick up. Altar shard. Well, this is the altar dungeon, so that's probably pretty important. Flint is good. Flint is good. Oh no. No! Stop it! Don't hurt me! <sighs> They're hurting me. Heal one health when you use a trinket. Okay, but what is a trinket? I guess I probably don't have any trinkets yet, but... Oh, I actually do. Now, these are some stylish purple boots. Like, dang. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, take Sword of Masters, forward force damage, or the protect projectile forward dealing one enchant damage. Oh, it's cursed and it can only be used while at max health. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, we did it once, we can do it again. Wait. Woo! Doesn't seem like it's working. about the boulders. <laughs> okay, killed by the Iron Minotaur. Let's try this again. It's because I don't believe in myself. <sighs> All right, we're doing it. Ooh. 
Whew. Whew. Man, that was scary. Very scary. Like, uh, very scary. So there are several of these different little uh, trap rooms with the blades sticking out of the uh, the floor. I mean, it added a little bit of nice variety and pattern, but for the most part, they're not too hard to get past. I think the, the first one was a little bit more difficult, while this one was really easy to see through as far as, you know, what you're supposed to do. Um, but um, if you if you can handle the panic and the stress and you can get through, you can pick up some pretty nice items. Here I am picking up a nice new weapon that, um, well, after reading it, I found that if you craft five items, then it gets a little bit stronger. So here I am just kind of crafting some stuff that I feel like I might not eat. So it looks like, um, you know, even going through the second level, you will, you know, you get to the boss room and then it's just the level two version of the, the same bosses, I guess. I didn't go through to try and see if it was the level two iron minotaur or the gold minotaur or the silver minotaur or something like that. But uh, yeah, so overall, I really enjoyed playing this game. I do feel like it's not as deep as maybe some other games that you find, but it is free, and I think for that price, you uh, definitely get a good value out of it. Um, yeah, I think if you try it, you might really enjoy it. Um, you know, being a roguelike, it can be pretty frustrating if you don't have the most like uh, perfect technical skill like I like I do. But uh, you know, it can be really enjoyable if you give it some time. I hope you guys are willing to give it a try, and if you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you hated it, uh, well, say something nice about it in the comment, because I'm sure the person who made it put a lot of time and effort into it. So, um, I don't know, I think this is in a game that deserves a little bit of respect for the scale and... No! Uh... <laughs> Okay, so I'll call it there for now. Um, I think we're actually going to try this game again later, so my next video might be um, a continuation of this one. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching today, and if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like and subscribe so that you can see me acting like a fool a little more. Okay, and um, tell your friendly neighborhood gardener uh, about the channel so they can enjoy it too. Bye-bye. Oh, look at this guy popping out. He's laughing at me because I'm such a chump. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.